That is literally no exaggeration of how I'm feeling right now. Oh gosh. Yesterday, I had my first leg session in, how long? Two months, two months it was. It's absolutely ridiculous because of working so many long hours, as I've already told you guys. First leg session yesterday, I thought, I'm not gonna go really heavy. I squatted for the first time, I warmed up, everything like that. Squatted for the first time, I thought I'm not gonna go really heavy because that's when I'm knacking my legs up, but that went completely out the window. I didn't really go heavy. But I started on no weight with the bar, done 20 reps, then went to 60 kg, uh, done 12 reps with that, then when I went to 80 kg, done, I think it was 10 reps with that, then I went to 100, done 8 reps, then I went to 120, then I got 6 reps with that, and then I pyramided all the way back down, I went to 100, done 8 reps, and then, no sorry, I didn't go to 120, I went to 130, that was it, I put 220s, no, four, 220s each side, a 10 and a 5, yeah that makes 130. <laughs> Done 130 for six reps, and then I went back down to 100. Done eight reps on that, which really hurt. But I've done all this with like little little rest. Um, so my quads were like failing by the time I got to my last set, which was on 60 kg. I just repped out up to, I think I got like 12 reps. I usually get 20, but I was just so exhausted from like having little rest time that I couldn't get them extra reps out. But I smashed them squats, and then I went on to do some. Isolation movements, some single leg press, uh, I think I've done. Single leg press, and then I went on to do quad extensions. Uh, and then I've done lunges with the dumbbells, and then I went to do hamstrings. Uh, I have problems with my hamstrings. Basically, when I do hamstrings, they cramp up. Like if I do one exercise on one set because the blood pumps to them, and I don't know why, but they just cramp up, so it kind of puts me off training them. But I pushed through that uh, cramping pain last night. Um, I've done line hamstring curls, and then I've done seated hamstring curls, and then stiff legged deadlifts that was really good and then I posted my leg progression to snapchat and it actually seems like I don't know what's going on it seems like they've got bigger in the space of time that I haven't trained them like everywhere else on my body as well seems to be bigger than it was two months ago when I was consistently training for like two weeks straight 14 days in a row one rest day I don't know why that is maybe it's because I'm eating a lot more food um but it's not really good food. It's like a mix of good food and bad food together. So like I'm getting my good food in my protein and then I'm just adding loads and loads of calories. I've got my mass gain a shake as well. So maybe I'm just getting bigger in that sense because of my diet. But um, it seems to be working. So, oh, someone's here. That'll be the delivery. I'll be right back. Cheers, mate. See you in a bit. Okay. Right. This is just a Christmas present from the house of Fraser that I got from my girlfriend. Um, I've got a lot, quite a lot of presents now, but uh, I think she'll like this one. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought both of them were going to come because I ordered two, but um, I've done a separate order, so maybe. Yeah, I'll pay for the next day delivery on this. I don't know why, but I just wanted it to be here because I'm going to hers on the 10th, which is in like 10 days now. So I wanted it to be here, so because I'm not going to be able to see her over Christmas and our anniversary, year anniversary is actually on the 16th of December. December? December from when we met a year ago. Um, so I've got anniversary presents for that. But anyway, they're the presents. What was I talking about? Legs, 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 eating. But yeah, um, I've actually seen a lot more growth in muscle and body fat percentage since I've been eating a lot more. Like I can actually grab fat. I'm not showing you now because obviously I'm not, when I'm sitting down this is. But actually I'll show you now. But you can't, you, it still seems like I'm pretty lean because you can see my abs, but I feel like I can grab most of you guys are probably thinking, what is he on about? But from my own personal opinion, <laughs> I feel like I can grab a lot more, it's probably just skin to be honest with you, but I feel like I can grab a lot more fat. And on my legs as well, it usually only used to be muscle, but now there's like a little bit of fat on there, on the side of the quads. So yeah, I'm actually not bothered about gaining fat. I actually, that's one of my objectives is to gain fat. Not to gain fat, like, on its own, but to gain muscle, and I'm not bothered about gaining fat, so. Yeah, it seems to be working for me. Maybe different for any of you guys, but it seems like since I've turned 20 years old, that I've just put in on weight finally, which is what I've wanted to do throughout my time of bulking. Like, I don't like staying lean, having a six pack all the time. Most people kill for that, but I want to get into the like kind of like bulk where I blow up and put on muscle and weight as well and fat, and then because when you come to shred down, you would have gained a lot more muscle in the process rather than just lean bulking because lean bulking. 
or completely lean just takes a lot more time and to gain weight and stuff like that. But um, just about to have three jacket potatoes and two cans of tuna now. That's just finished cooking in a microwave for 12 minutes. Now I'm going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to mix me two cans of tuna up with uh, mayonnaise and vinegar. And then I'll have that for my lunch. Second meal of the day. First meal today I had breakfast which was uh, four packets of oats which is around 150 grams of oats in that. So that's I think I think that's uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 40, 12, uh, 96 grams of carbs. And then I had a protein shake with that which is 30 grams of carbs for an absolute protein the shake that I use. Another one. <laughs> Girl, bye. Who's that? Who's that? Alright. Alright, this for. It's the number one. Number one. But there's nobody here. If I leave him a card, so you got it, could you have it for me? Yeah, 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 that's alright. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was another one because I've got another bloody one coming from House of Project. Who's that? Thank you. Okay, so. Decent ads, so I'm not showing it yet. Well, I thought the other bloody present come then that I bought, but it's uh, number one, which is down the road with the van. Oh, I'm so out of breath from running up and down these stairs. It's good cardio, though. Uh, that's another thing as well. I need to improve on my cardiovascular fitness because I'm just absolutely terrible with that sort of thing. Like, I'm knackered running up and down the stairs, and because of my job, I'm, like, fetching tools, like, getting pipe work, fitting pipe work. I need to be kind of more fit because I'm out of breath. Definitely need to implement some kind of cardio. I wouldn't say fat burning cardio I'd say more like 10 minute walk on the treadmill or something like that or 10 minute jog just to keep my cardiovascular levels stable rather than being completely low and just shit and out of breath all the time but I'm going to eat my meal now today I'm going to uh, yeah I can train now early, earlier actually because it's around half one now and I thought that, that was going to take till half two to come so I'm going to eat my meal and then wait about an hour and then I'm going to go down the gym and train some arms Trying legs last night, trying some arms today, and then, <sighs> yeah, so should be a good session. I'm gonna carb up, there's around 70 grams of carbs in three jacket potatoes, I think. They're around 22 in each jacket potato, but there's, yeah, we'll say 70 grams. And then I'm gonna have a mass gainer shake after my workout, like immediately after, which is, I think, 60 grams of carbs and 35 grams of protein. So that's going to be straight after my workout and then I'll, I'll come home and have another meal and just rest up for another another busy day at work tomorrow. So, oh, I'm burping, gas. Yeah, I'll catch you guys when I next pick up the camera. I'll probably show you my meal when it's all finished. But um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. But sorry about the uh, tripod. I had it laid down on the floor so that's why it's like sticking out. <laughs> but I just thought I'd show you guys my leg progression so far. So that's what they're look, look, looking like at the moment. Still got some striations in there, so that's completely relaxed. That's tensing my teardrops, and then that's tensing the whole leg. As you can see, like the split comes up like that, which I'm really happy about. And then it's coming up here more now, which I like as well. We didn't before. Same as that one as well. And then hamstrings are getting a bit better. Calves, I still need to improve my calves. I'm really shit with them. I haven't trained them in about two months as well. I didn't train them last night. I just trained quads and hamstrings last night. That's my hammies. Good. Hammies have come along a bit better. I'm more quad dominant in my legs, so just working on my weak points, but that's what my legs are looking like at the moment. I'm still smashing them, so yeah, food time. Now this is what real potato porn looks like. Bit of vinegar. Always makes chewing and taste ten times better. And a bit of salt. Two shots of vodka. 
You ready for this, guys? Oh, there's no, there's no sexy light we can use, by the way, us. This is what it's looking like. The famous jacket potato tuna, made by Lewis Little. You know my recipe. No joke. But look at this. Look at that. Oh, damn. Two cans of tuna, three potatoes, lots of butter. <laughs> but look at that shit. I'm gonna get closer to it. Damn. Don't you just want to eat that? Damn. Can you smell that shit? Yeah. Yeah, I can smell that shit. Yeah. I can smell all of that shit. I can smell that ass. Yeah. Look at that ass. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat this. You know my plans already, so see you in a bit. So cold out here. Apparently it's like minus seven in Bromsgrove or something like that. Well, it's gonna get up to that, but wow, it's freezing. Look at the frost on the floor and shit. Damn, damn, when are you coming too soon? But uh, <coughs> on the way to the gym now, gonna uh, train some arms. So probably start with something to warm the triceps and biceps up. And then I'll do like, Exercise on biceps, exercise on triceps, and then repeat for like however many exercises I do. Probably gonna do a lot of exercises, a lot of supersets, and a lot of drop sets because with my arms, especially my triceps, I like to pump as much blood as possible uh, to the tricep to get them as full as possible. But uh, yeah, I'll start with that. I'm fueled from the three jacket potatoes and tuna that I ate about an hour ago, so I'm just walking now. And hope you guys enjoy the session. It's gonna be an edit, but I'm also gonna be only recording myself because I'm training on my own so bear with me on the angles but hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you after
us down But we are backing out Because the time is now Scream until you're breathless Till all the voices drown Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Hold on, let me just turn the music down in my earphones. Don't know if you can see me or not because it's like pitch black right now. But I just smashed my arm workout. That was literally one of the best pumps again that I've ever had. Tell you what, little rest, drop sets, supersets, all work. They all pump blood to your muscle. The more blood you pump, the more muscle you're going to gain. So, smash that workout. Got my protein shake here now to drink. It's a serious mass gainer shake. I'm gonna drink that, smash that down me, and I'm gonna get a meal in about an hour later. So, hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you have. Newcomers, if you're watching this video, please subscribe. I'm about to go really dark, so I'll see you in the next one.